You're given an array of coordinates on a 2D plane. Please design an algorithm to check if all of these points are on the same straight line. That's about today's video. Let's dive in. San Francisco Bay Area, or Silicon Valley. This is where my dream started. Hey everybody, today, uh, this is Steve here. So today we're going through legal problem 1232. Check if it is a straight line. Before we dive in, just do me a favor and smash that like button if you enjoy the videos and if you, if you feel you learned something um, out of my previous videos and before we dive in. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, now let's take a look at the, this today's problem. You're given an array coordinates. Coordinates I is just a um, two element array, X and Y. We understand that in the 2D plane, we used um, two elements to indicate um, this point on the 2D plane, where X and Y represents the coordinate of a point. The question is asking us to check if these points make a straight line in the XY plane. For example, we're given these coordinates, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, you see here. They are all, right now we can see it's all lining up on the same straight line. So the output is true, right? Very straightforward and very easy to tell after we draw this x, y planes. And the second example that we can take a look is uh, that we're given these 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 7. This is apparently not, they are not on the same straight line. So these three are on the same line and these three, 1, 1, 2, 2, and 7, 7. X and y, they have the same values. They are on the same uh, line. While these two, X and Y, they, are, they have a difference of one, they are on the same line. So they are on the two different straight lines. So the output is false, which is apparently uh, very obvious. Um, there are a few constraints here. Coordinates is always two. Um, the minimum and maximum of the coordinates value, there is no duplicate point, which all of these four constraints basically simplify the problem. So, um, this is a very basic and easy question. How do we tackle this question? If, if any one of you have um, has taken like basic math in your middle school or high school, you should have learned that. How do we? Um, how, how is a slope? Um, how is a straight line decided? It's basically by two points. Um, how how can we um, calculate the slope of the? Um, if we can calculate the slope of the two points, then we know whether um, then we can compare if there's an additional point that has that is on the same line with the previous two points we basically calculate the slope formed by any one of the previous two points along with the third point how do we calculate the slope of um, of any given straight line that's determined by any two points we use the uh, um, we use the the difference of the uh, y coordinates divide divide that by the difference of the x coordinates. We get one slope. Um, okay, let me write it down here. Um, so first, we'll say x one, y one. This is point one, point one, and then we have point two. Here we'll call it an x x two, y two, and then we have point three. We'll call it x3 and y3. How do we calculate slope? Uh, we'll call it uh, k. The slope that's de um, that's that's decided by point one and point two. How do we how do we calculate that? Is basically y2 minus y y1 divide this by x2 minus x1. This is the slope k. K. We'll call it k1. I guess that's um, decided by these two points. Remember in the 2D plane, we just looking at here, we can use two points, this one and this one, we'll call it point one and point two. We use two points, we can draw, we can draw a straight line. So and how do we, um, mathematically, how do we denote a, the slope of this straight line? We can use the two pointers division. We do division by the difference, then we know the slope. So in order to know whether I say a third point that comes into the picture, how do we know this third point, 
that is on the same straight line as the previous two points we'll just uh, compute the slope uh, we'll just compute the slope uh, slope again for k2 we can either call it k2 or k3 uh, which will basically compute whether we take p1 or p2 to compute the slope along with p3 the same case how do we compute uh, the slope for for this uh, straight line we'll just use the difference between the y coordinates which is y3 in here and y1 divide that by x3 minus x1 we'll check uh, whether uh, whether whether k k1 equals equals to k2 if you uh, if k1 equals to k2 that basically concludes that uh, we have these three points point one point two and point three these three points are on the same line very simple and straightforward um, for example we can take a few point as uh, example we have suppose we have one two two three and three four uh, what are we going to do? We'll have uh, one, two, uh, two, three, and three, four. In this case, K one just becomes. So we'll have two. Uh, we'll have Y two, which is here. Three minus Y one is which is two, and then divide that by two minus one which will get 1 minus 1 which gives us 1 right and then the same case applies to k2 what we're do, going to do is to have y3 minus y, y1 my y3 is here this one 4 my, uh, oops 4 here let's put 4 here 4 minus 1 uh actually 4 minus 2 y1 is here and then divide that by x3 which is 3 here 3 minus x1 x1 is 1 so 1 here what we get is 2 minus 2 minus 2 we get 1 so we see k1 is 1 k2 is 1 so we know k1 equals to k2 which means these three points are on the same line which is exactly what we see here one two three these three points are on the same line all right that's the example after going through this example it's much more easier to understand but before we put that into the actual code there is one possible case because we're you we're doing division here right this is a division division it's definitely possible that the result of x2 the, the result of the difference between x2 and x1 or either x3 and x1 it could result in a zero see this is one this is one or this is zero this is zero or this is three or this is three it could result in a zero which which is a case that we don't want to see because we don't want to have the denominator to be zero which is going to be invalid in ma in the math context it's going to be invalid but in the uh, context of programming it's going to throw like invalid uh, arithmetic exception or something in java but i mean in python or c plus plus it's going to throw any other like invalid or some some similar exceptions basically complaining you are putting something really invalid you shouldn't put zero as the denominator uh, what do we do in this case um a very common strategy is is to basically turn this uh, division into multiplication that's it so um, the the math the, that we would like to check is to basically to check whether k we want to check this let me highlight this we want to check whether k1 equals to k2 then we do some basic substitution k1 k2 how do we check whether they are equal we'll just use this one to check whether they are equal or not right check whether this equals to this whether this equals to does this equal that's it so this is division division on both ends of this equal sign so we can quickly turn that into multiplication to avoid the denominator the possibility of a, having a denominator being zero so what we'll do is use this 
numerator, numerator y1 times this denominator. All right, and put it here. And then put this denominator here and times this. This is the one that we can safely use in our actual code. Because like even any one of these uh, formula, if they are zero, that's totally fine. We're just end up with checking if zero equals to another zero. That's totally fine. So it's not going to throw us any exceptions. That's basically the um, entire algorithm or any tricks or color cases that we need to pay attention to. Other than that, that's it. Then I think we can uh, start coding. We come back here, check if it's straight line. I hope we're all on the same page still. Uh, we'll just do a check, say, we'll just go through every single point at this uh, moment. We'll start from two because we need the first two points to form a straight line to get that slope first. Coordinates, length, I plus plus. We'll check if something times something equals something times something I know we're not writing in the compiler in the in an IDE or something so it's easy to miss out a parenthesis so I'm just writing them out first return uh, if if they are not equal then we'll just return false in the end after we finishing uh, through the this entire for loop uh, we can just return true so what are we going to do here which copy this coordinates we'll first check here y2 minus y1 what is y2 uh, y2 is going to be 1 which is representing the second point uh, y is the second one okay that's what we got uh, y2 minus y2 minus y1 y1 this is this is going to be one because it's a y y1 which means oh okay y1 this is uh y1 is zero okay so here we start from one one two three but in the actual index of the programming in all indexes uh all indices start from zero so this is zero and then what we'll have is uh, minus let's see what do we have let me expand this okay nice um, next one is x3 minus x1 x3 is going to be our i since we start from the third element so it's going to be i x is zero all right and then x1 what do we have for x1 is uh, which means the first one zero and x it's x so it's zero yeah and now we'll have x2 minus x1 let's see x2 x x so it's a zero x2 x2 which means it's the first one okay x2 minus it's an x and x1 which means it's a zero here now what's this it's y3 minus y y1 minus 3 minus 3 y so it's going to be 1 here minus 3 is i oops minus 3 is i and then here minus 1 is 0 all right this is what what we just did is basically uh, converting this the formula that we use to check whether all of the points are on the same line to convert uh, this simple formula into Java uh, syntax and given this coordinate, this parameter name, that's it. Uh, it's looking good to me. Let me just uh, run a quick uh, sanity check to see if it's actually compiling or it's working. Judging. Oh, accepted. Cool. Now let's uh, close this and hit submit. Let's see what's going to. Uh, okay, I've closed this. Okay, it's accepted. That's cool. One hundred percent. That's amazing. 
faster than 100%. Oh, anyway, this is a pretty simple and straightforward, easy solution, uh, easy question anyways. But uh, it, yeah, that's it. I don't think there, there's anything else um, worth mentioning for this problem. It, the only thing you need to know is um, try to avoid using zero as the denominator for this for problems like this. So we usually turn division into multiplication. That's it. Again, if you like this video, please gently tap that uh, like button and f uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, wish you all of the luck in all of the interviews. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.